spoken to sort of 60,000 school kids over the last four years. And I told them, you know, I'm a space scientist. And most kids say, yeah, right, big deal. But I tell kids, you know, I appear regularly on television. I've got BBC News and do weird demonstrations. So, you're on TV. Wow. <laughs> That's what makes them. And so for kids, it's finding the right books. So for instance, I was a, a, a scientific advisor for a series called Power Dots, which was shown last year. And um, this is a chap who's playing a space scientist. And he based his character on me, which is really scary. And I wanted him to be a black and female, but they wouldn't let that in the screen. <laughs> so, but he's trying to get things out there and get kids to aspire. I was a black dyslexic kid growing up in London. Last year, I got to meet the Queen. I got a, 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 an MBE, so I, was afraid I went to meet the Queen. If I can do that with my upbringing, what can they do? What can they achieve? I'm like crying, No, because that's what I wanted to do. Yes. And, but when I was growing up, you. There was no way that you could not just be black, but a woman as well, yes. being a scientist or a mathematician. There was just no role models. There was nothing. I couldn't see it. Yes, and, and so I didn't even think about it, even though it's my passion. It's the only thing I've ever wanted to do, but I couldn't see it, so I thought, so that's what we need to be doing, getting out to there and showing we need more role models, but role models of every sort. Because for instance, my most passion is space, so that's why I sell to kids. But what I'm trying to sell to kids really is a dream. It doesn't matter what that dream is. Best hairdresser, best choreographer, it doesn't matter as long as they have that dream. But it's trying to reach them. So, so often kids will just see adults and think, well, you know, I'm never going to be like that. Yeah. Maggie's met the queen, she must be something special, but it's not true. And so it's trying to also find the right books for kids. This is another project I came up with, which is Big Brother in Space. Because if I go into there, yeah, I'm a space scientist. <laughs> 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 kids look at me like that. But then this is an idea. I tell the kids I'm trying to sell this idea to travel for. So what I'm saying is Big Brother is interplanetary travel. And what I'm suggesting is that I want to go to Mars. And I'm getting a bit old to go, you know, with the usual Lisa and NASA route. So I'm saying that I'm going to have a, a Big Brother spaceship going to Mars. <laughs> On this spaceship, I've got about 10 passengers. I'm going, and I'm taking my husband with me. Doesn't want to go, I'm taking him with me. <laughs> OK, on top of that, we have people selected from all around the world. Because to me, the problem with the moon landings was it was the Americans planting the American flag as if the moon belongs to the Americans. If we go to Mars, we plant the flag of the United Nations because Mars belongs to everybody. <laughs> so if we go to Mars, we put up people from all around the world. And just like Big Brother, we have real-time coverage. I said, we don't put the cameras in the loo because going to the loo in space is next. <laughs> well, that's what I do on site. But then, as you can imagine, there are a few challenges. The biggest challenge is the cost. The cost of sending 10 people to Mars. This is a trip of about eight months going there, eight months coming back. And then they're going to live on Mars for a while. We talk about billions, but there's a solution. Because a while ago, they sold the TV rights for the Premiership football. And when they did this, they got about four and a half billion pounds for football. I reckon if we sell the TV rights to this, we'll get a lot more money. And there's another big problem with a Big Brother spaceship, and that's this. Eviction. Because <laughs> <laughs> if you imagine, you're on the Big Brother spaceship, and someone says, Dr. Maggie Adair, please leave us now. If you want to leave the airlock, please leave the spaceship. You're going to be in trouble, aren't you? So I thought about this for a long time, and I thought, well, yeah, Channel 4 is never going to buy this. We're going to buy it And my suggestion is, the two people who win the competition, they come back to Earth. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's everybody else. Well, we're finding water on Mars. So for everybody else, the idea is that they live out the rest of their days on Mars. <laughs> and I was very lucky. I was able to make this into a film last year. And this is a short clip from the film. And showing me on the Big Brother spaceship.
Because I've heard so many stories today about people who think, I can't, I can't achieve it because there are too many obstacles. We need to know, we need to show people who can smash the obstacles and can break those glass ceilings so we can get out there and we can make a difference. So let's do it. Wow. That's it.